What's up, everyone? This is Crypto Foxy. Hope you're having an awesome Sunday. Um, I know the weekend has been uh, has been pretty busy, but uh, hopefully you guys have been able to spend some time with your family or friends. And uh, yeah, so in this video, I want to talk to you a bit about Dogecoin and what we can expect to see from Dogecoin hopefully this week or uh, at least in the you know the coming next little while. Um, it's it's bullish. It's super bullish and it's really exciting me. Um, I know Dogecoin, I mentioned this all the time, but Dogecoin was my first crypto and it introduced me to the cryptocurrency space. And uh, I think it's awesome that it's starting to uh, to have a bit of a comeback. Um, before we get into our video, though, please remember to hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, and uh, let's get into our video. All right. So we can see here Dogecoin. Uh, Dogecoin price long-term forecast is bullish. That is awesome. Um, I had to highlight that word because it was oh, it just made me so happy. So the upward momentum uh, reached a high of uh, seven and a half cents before retracing, or sorry, retreating, but retracing was word two on October the 26th. The altcoin retreated to a low of 6.7 cents before resuming its uptrend. The uptrend uh, temporarily held at a high of 7.3 cents, and the price indication suggested that the cryptocurrency would continue to rise. Um, so we can see here that uh, some of my highlighted text is gone. <laughs> um, so the altcoin had risen to a high of 6.8 cents due to market activity, and further growth is expected. Um, so Dogecoin broke through the moving moving average lines and has reached higher highs and lower lows or higher lows. Sorry, so that's important. Do you want to see when it's moving up like that? You want it to see the lows go higher as well because then you know you know it's building a little bit more of a support floor, right? Uh, so it did form a bullish crossover with the 21 day SMA above the 50 day SMA, indicating the cryptocurrency will continue to rise. And we can see in the chart here, um, it is showing in red. That is your 50, and the, the blue is your 21. So you can see respectively here on the chart um, is showing what uh, what levels we're looking at with the Fibonacci retracement levels and such. Um, Fibonacci is a, a, a powerful uh, tool, way to, uh, to predict where charts are going to go. Um, they go up so high, and then obviously they retrace back down before, you know, making another leg up. Um, so technical indicators, we're looking at key resistance levels of 12, uh, one point, yeah, 12 cents and 14 cents. Key support levels are around six and four cents. So, um, so what's next in the direction for Dogecoin? So if the bulls can break the 21 day SMA, the altcoin will regain its bullish momentum. Uh, on the downside, if the cryptocurrency will crash, if the bears break below the 50 day SMA, so we can see here again on the chart, same thing. The red line's the 50, 21 days, the, the blue. Um, so as we reported on, as they reported on October 23rd, the upward momentum has broken through the moving average lines, but has stalled at the simple moving average of the 50-day line. Doge is currently trading above the 21-day line SMA, but below the 50-day line SMA. So we can see here um, some of the key, key prices on the side. Um, so that's what we're looking for. We're looking for key, you know, for to break through resistance levels. If we can break through some resistance levels and, uh, you know, keep it above that level, you know, if we get some uh, closes above that level, we can uh, yeah, expect to see it go up a little bit higher. Um, so what is going on with Dogecoin lately? Well, the price of Dogecoin has been going up. There has been a lot of speculation about X's uh, Twitter, formerly Twitter, um, having, you know, pushed forward with their... Uh, their plans on making a financial app out of X and uh, people are, you know, thinking Dogecoin might be included somewhere in there, right? You know, maybe they'll be offered, offered as a payment solution. Um, the reactive uh, reactivation of some dormant Doge addresses has become qu common quite recently as well. Um, so reported by coin, coin gape, a similar Doge uh, reactivation was recorded in June as well, but this time the wallet uh, reappeared, contained slightly over 2 million Doge units. Uh, you can see here the whale alert did uh, alerted us on X. So, so considering the age of the wallet, this address where the transaction took place indicates that the owner was one of the first buyers of the meme coin. So, you know, seeing whales move money around is always something that I uh, I like to watch because it indicates, you know, um, it indicates where smart money is going, right? People who have a lot of money, people who hold a lot of crypto, 
you know, if they're buying into certain things or if they're, you know, they're moving their money around, obviously there's a reason for it. Um, sometimes we don't know and uh, we speculate, but uh, it's definitely interesting to watch and uh, seeing whales come back into Dogecoin, it's making, uh, making a lot of people bullish. So that's what I got for you in this video. I just wanted to keep you up to date with what's going on with the price, the, the resistance levels that we're looking for as well. And uh, we'll see what happens this week. So thanks, thanks so much for tuning in. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.